Yeah, it's good to see you with the museum. Uh, this is one of those very special occasions where a number of the aircraft, including the F-111, have been uh, rolled outside the museum for all to see and appreciate, uh, particularly the camera buffs, I guess, as well. And uh, they will see the machines outside rather than be in the, in the museum building. And now, uh, coming in from the right, the unmistakable sound of Vietnam, which was really known as the helicopter war. Now this, this particular machine we're seeing, uh, Peter demonstrated today, comes from the uh, Royal Australian Navy Historic uh, Aircraft Flight, based out of uh, Narrow on the New South Wales coast, of course. And uh, it's, uh, I look at this and I say, oh, this must be uh, a short uh, Iroquois, in other words, uh, a UH-1B, whereas the uh, later models were the... So, Tim, we are going to see something very spectacular here today. Coming in from the right. Now, who do we have in the, uh, in the formation today? Is the commanding officer of three squadron, Wing Commander Tim Alsop. And wingmen, we've got, uh, I'll use their call signs, just chain, chainsaw and nibs. Uh, the wingmen have moved forward from uh, flying echelon off the number four in line of stand uh, into traditional box. smartly accelerate and the noise will build. sitting in a pre-contact position where they would sit and await clearance to receive fuel. You can see the boom there under the, uh, the tail of the aircraft. Basically, the boom there. This gives uh, the RWF a fantastic uh, capability. The, uh, Yes, well, the Hercules has the longest continuous production run of any military aircraft in history. And you might classify the Hercules as a remarkable aircraft. Oh, most definitely. This particular model is capable of carrying 128 troops or 92 paratroops, a lot more than the, the A model, together with 37 stretchers or 8 cargo pallets. Uh, as well. The General Electric uh, F414 is 22,000 pound thrust each.
guys are from I've actually, I've actually heard that. Yeah, he said if you want to do some questing today, go and meet him in the, uh, in the Blue Lagoon by the Troll Bridge. He'll enjoy uh, any newcomers.